Jason Wells here with PGC Basketball, and today we're going to talk about a few post-move secret keys to help you shred any defense. Remember now, we're talking post-moves, but we're not talking post-players. Anyone can find themselves in this position, which means anyone can be a threat out of this position. So this is not reserved for the guys that are my height. It also can happen from the guys that may not be as tall as me like Tyler. All right, the first thing we want to do, you see most people catch the ball, and the first thing they do is immediately start to go into their moves. We want to focus on pausing for poise. You want to pause for poise. So on catch, I want to chin the ball, be strong with the ball, and just take. I'm, I'm looking here right over my shoulder. I can see Tyler and see where uh, my offense is and where other defenders are. So I want to pause for poise. After I pause for poise, the next thing I want to do is take what we call a wee pivot. So as I catch here, I want to open up here like I'm on a skateboard and keep that balance. I don't want to open up too much and now put myself at a disadvantage. I want to still keep that defender honest, but what I'm doing is I'm allowing my teammates to see, hey, I'm looking for you. This is a we pivot, not a me pivot where I'm here and on, on the only thing on my mind is getting to the basket. Once you've established your we pivot, now I see where my defender is, I see where help defenders are, and I see where my teammates are. Now I want to use what we call our crab dribble. Our crab dribble is an in and out circle. It's tough for me to do it slow, but it's an in and out circle because now that in and out circle allows the ball to be in my hands more so I have more control over the ball, which now allows me to be able to not only feel my defender, but be able to react how he's playing me. And now I have my move and I have my counter moves. So on my in and out dribble, I we and I in out, in out to set up my space for my moves. What you don't want to do is you want to get out of the mentality of catching and just backing down like you're like an old man going to the basket. Rules nowadays won't allow you to do it, especially in the NBA. It's only five seconds back to the basket. So you want to crab dribble, crab dribble to set up your next move. Once you have your defender moving, now it's your job to react to the defensive read that they give you. If Tyler here gives me a chest read, which means I see the PGC, the square of his chest, I am going to counter that now with a drop step and a score. A chest read means that I'm changing direction as an offensive player. Crab dribble, crab dribble, chest read, change direction. The other read is a shoulder read, which means now I have more of an open space to the floor. So now I crab and now I'm going into my shot to go score. Tyler doesn't have enough contact to be able to stop me from the direction that I'm going. And so now I just turn and go score. Read your defense. Are they giving you a chest read? Are they giving you a shoulder read? Know how to counter each move. And if you really want to take your game to the next level, click the link in the description below to find out where the closest session is to you.